Hi everyone. I hope that your back to school period is going well. It's time to, you know, get down to work and um, absolutely get back to work, okay? I uh, advise the creative industries, I'm afraid to do so, for the last year and a half, the creatives have done almost fucko. And, um, and as a consequence, I was a law, our law firm has actually suffered from that because we've not been contacted by you guys um, this year. Last year was absolutely, you know, business as usual, 2020. We worked really hard. We had lots of work. This year, guys, you need to get back to work because we are your legal providers. And right now, we don't get any good, good work from you, right? You're calling us but you don't have any money to pay for our legal services. So how do you want to get some legal advice? I mean, get real people. So uh, yeah, get back to work. The grants um, and government aid is finished, uh, definitely in France, but also in the UK, as I'm sure you know. So let's buckle up and uh, let's get to work, people, okay? We can't get on in, the, in this situation of uh, inertia and doing uh, you know, nothing for a year and a half. Uh, the states now, in particular in the US and Europe are super indebted, okay? They, uh, deficits are running super high. So they, uh, of course, also trying to uh, get some money from private sector to pay off all these debts um, because they had to pay for all these, uh, you know, welfare aids and stuff. And, um, and therefore they're going to tap into your pockets as well. So you need to have some full pockets to be able to pay for the taxes because it's coming, you know, it's around the corner. And I can guarantee you that the, the tax man is going to come at you and um, ask you to pay some taxes because uh, they are very much in deficit. So buckle up, get back to work and, um, and call us uh, at Crefervy if and when you need legal advice to resolve your dispute. This is also the right moment, you know, if you had some shit going on with some suppliers, with some of your ex-clients, etc. Resolve it now. This is the moment. Resolve all this shit now. Just clean the slate right so that you are ready for a new start for 2022 so get back to work clean the slate resolve all the issues um particular legal issues you know accounting issues or bad debt etc and uh yeah so the trade shows are it was quite funny actually because during the first week of september here in europe there were like you know 10 15 trade shows and uh, salon and um, and fairs and uh, for the creative industry so you had the uh, film festival in Venice you had the f you still have actually the film festival in Toronto uh, you also the Telluride festival in uh, in the US everything happening at the same time so this is just for the cinema world but in um, other sectors you had uh, also, Maison et Objet are happening at the same time as the Disney Week in London. Maison et Objet is in Paris, the Disney Week is in London. Every, all the, all the um, creative uh, trade shows which had been put on hold uh, because of a crisis and then because of the, uh, like the uh, uh, lockdowns and the economic uh, crisis um, generated by the lack of appropriate management of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic by governments because they shut down all businesses which they shouldn't have done. Um, compounded by the fact that then it was summer, so in Europe, in summer, nobody does fuck ho. It just closed down for two, uh, two, two months, especially in France uh, and, this, and the south of Europe. So basically, yeah, beginning of September, everyone does their own trade show. So basically, us at Crivery, we, we just, you know, uh, we just thought there's no point in trying to go to this trade show and this trade show and this trade show, all happening at the same time. Nobody coordinated, you know between the different industries. So uh, we just stayed put and we're waiting for you guys to, you know, contact us, give us a call when you need our legal services, you know, under French law and UK law, English law, uh, because it's time to get back to work. So we sent you a newsletter also um, two weeks ago at the very end of the month of uh, August. And this was to advertise our new article about how um, creatives who are located or are based in third countries, so countries which are outside the 27 member states of the European Union, Union how they can actually sell their uh, fashion products uh, within the European Union, okay, with, and also the UK. 
So, um, for example, they have to make sure that uh, their products comply with uh, health and safety regulations, especially if they are cosmetics or they, are, they have uh, luxury and fashion products which are close to the skin, or they are uh, also products like uh, garments for kids, okay, which are heavily regulated for health and safety uh, purposes. Also, of course, as explained in this article that you can find on our law sites, crefovi.com and crefovi.fr, um, we explained that there, were, there is also now a whole uh, new system whereby all these um, imports into the uh, European Union member states, e even from third countries, means that the VAT has to be paid, the 20% VAT has to be paid on it. And actually, I just got... Uh, uh, this is this is since the 1st of July 2021. So my article really delves into how you have to comply with this. And it's quite funny because I received a uh, package from Amazon.fr, so in France from Amazon, and the seller was actually is based in India. And then a few days later, I actually did receive a letter from FedEx saying, hey, you owe us blob for charges and also a five euros admin, admin, administration fee. So I'm still trying to figure out what the heck is this, you know, 17 euros charge, which com com comprises five euros of admin fee because I'm baffled. So the seller, which is based in India, as I was saying, says, yeah, yeah, this is the VAT that yeah, now you have to pay. So I'm just investigating this. But what I'm trying to say is that what I set out in my article about how to import fashion and um, luxury garments and, and products into the uh, EU market is actually becoming reality because I'm just facing it right now um, in France, as I was saying, by receiving that letter from FedEx asking me for to pay some additional charges, which pisses me off by the way. But anyway, um, so yeah, do have a look at this um, newsletter and this article. It's called How to uh, uh, Sell Your US um, I focused on the US, but it, this could actually apply to any country which is outside the EU. So how to sell your third party uh, fashion and luxury products uh, into EU member states at high margins. And I explained how to do it, you know, for e-commerce sites, uh, for your own e-commerce sites, through e-tailer sites or through stockists, you know, in brick and mortar stores. So have a look at that. Otherwise, I wish you a good back to school a good rentrée, as we say in French, back to school. And um, uh, I'll keep you posted of uh, further developments at Crefervi because there are some, and um, I will make them public fairly soon. Bye for now.